hi guys so i went to a culinary school and i learned how to make the egg noodles and i'm going to show you guys so stay okay so these are all the vegetables you need the egg noodles you need mushrooms carrots green pepper you know all those plenty plenty things that are on the screen so go and buy fresh ones in abuja we're so lucky we have fresh fresh ones and then cut them like this because i feel like the way you cut it makes the food sweeter or not and then we used chicken breast yes you can use any one you want but the teacher taught us to use chicken breast and chicken breast is not something i've ever bought like just go to the market and buy it or in the supermarket and buy it but yeah so just buy it and then broccoli i had to ask if it to remind me of the name and then mushrooms let me tell you eh, the first time i saw mushrooms in my food i was like nope i'm not eating and like spring onions see the way she cuts it that's how you're supposed to cut it okay so she put the noodles in hot water you know just let it sit in hot water she did not cook it she just put it in hot water and you know let it sit you can see she's just using a spatula to make sure everything enters inside and then she spiced the chicken breast so in this Spicing, you don't put plenty, plenty, but what you will just put the one that I have, say, you know, use your head. And then she's just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, which is very important because we want this to be a bit cooked. That's the idea behind, you know, this putting it like this. The next thing is to sieve it in your sink. Like, say, you go see, I forgot that before. Anyway, so sieve it in your sink and then get ice. So she told us that if you don't have ice, just get cool water, like normal water that is cool, but running water. And then she's adding water from the tap to increase the you know the water of the eyes and then she added the noodles guys so what this does is to make sure that the noodles doesn't continue cooking i, I hope i made sense because she said if you just sieve it and leave it the noodles will keep cooking and it will become soft and soggy and it will not make sense so just do it how she said it and then she's mixing the oyster sauce soy sauce and sesame oil these three ingredients are the star ingredients of this thing, I think, because they're the things that just gave it its exquisential ex taste. In my mind, I'm trying to speak English anyway. So, yeah, I just mix everything. So, um, I noticed that with this thing she's cooking, with the egg noodles, you don't need to, you know, do overdo. You don't need to so mix this thing very well you can see that it's only taking up to two people to mix it it means that the mixing is very very important use whatever you have fork spoon wicks whatever just mix it and then i think the measurement is as the spirit leads because yeah and also mix your meat your chicken breast you know with your spice use black pepper then you know just small small spicing and then put your oil in this pan guys there's one thing that annoys me with chef why are they using a small pan to cook something as big as this i feel like just use a bigger pot and so that everything maybe there's a reason but this is what she did and yeah so she made sure the oil was hot and then she put the chicken breast and then we're just going to keep stirring you know so that everything will be mixed up Please, I want to ask so, so as a cook in your home or just in general, like if you're somebody that likes to cook, do you cook as the spirit leads or you're somebody that plans like you do all this pre plan cooking, pre prep, prepping meals? Yeah, that's what they call it now on Instagram, prepping your meals. Do you like what you eat in the next one month? You cook it today and then you eat it in the next one month. Or more, I'm not that kind of person. I don't really like food that has stayed in the fridge for too long. So me, I cook as the spirit leads. If he was even telling me he wants us to have a food menu and he will be the one that will write it. And I said, okay, because I need help in everything. So yeah, we're stirring our chicken breast. You can see how it's looking. Or more. Let me not even talk too much to the end. So we're putting oil in this non-stick fry pan that somebody went to go and use iron sponge to wash, obviously, from the look. And we're adding our onions and garlic and ginger, right? Or garlic. I think this is just garlic. I'm not sure again. So just going to, you know, make sure this fries a little bit and then add a little bit of oil because we don't need a lot of oil. We're trying to watch weight here. We're trying to watch weight. So you add your carrots, you mix, mix, mix. You can see she's using two spatulas. That's how to do it. Don't use one. Don't do a wasabi and use one. And then we're adding our mushrooms. Guys, still mushroom till today. I can't believe I'm eating mushrooms. And then we're adding our broccoli. Hmm. Another thing that I cannot believe I am eating in my life, but with the chopper. 
so yeah we're just going to be mixing see in this cooking process mixing is very very important don't just leave it and say okay oh, let me rest or let me gist or let me watch one movie from there it's not born no it's stir fry you mix and then you add your egg noodles so you just add it um little by little so that it doesn't become too much you know because of your hand surely those of us that have christian mother it's the way you would do your hand you start painting you so you know just put it little by little mix 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 <laughs> and then you add your soy sauce sesame and oyster sauce mixture you can see how we're doing it step by step see chefs they know how to plan oh. they know how to cook step by step and they were adding our fried chicken breast and oh my guys at this point i couldn't wait to taste it because the thing was just entering my nose my eyes my brain everything and she was just mixing as if i should not drag the thing from her and just use big spoon and just mix it and just eat it and was like, but sha 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 yeah mix 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 then she added more soy sauce because like i said africans we add as the spirit leads okay and guys we now added our vegetables carrots you know all the bobo tibo things that you guys saw earlier so we added it in the mixture to give it color you can see how beautiful oh my the thing eh? like the thing is brownish yellowish colorfulish rainbowish you know that look then she added the spring onions this is the last thing guys man i will not lie to fry my spring onions but i heard that spring onions is like a garnish just spread it on top you don't need to fry it or cook it sha 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 the food was ready at this point so she told us to taste um as zainab was tasting omo longer longer was doing me i couldn't wait <laughs> i couldn't wait and then she served us she served us which was really really nice even me as i'm watching this i cannot think again because see just see just see just see oh my the tea is sweet the tea is sweet the tea is sweet Die. i hope you guys enjoyed this video are you going to try this recipe let me know in the comment section bye Mwah. i